Are you sure that's him? I'm trying to remember what happened last with that. Am I forgetting something or are they actually just letting out frustration? Oh! Are you going to take the cross too? We'll take everything we need. We need it. Didn't we already have that line? So they're fortifying this church. Does this mean that we're preparing for an assault, or does this mean we're preparing to stay? Although, why would we prepare to stay here? We're supposed to be following Eugene and that story. Like, we're not supposed to be staying here. I with Carol. Oh, no, I see. Oh, no, Carol. I owe her more. Oh. So it's Rick that's gonna go again. God. The crazy thing is, right, is this, this weird thing went through my brain when I was watching the last reaction is, wouldn't it suck? You know, we've just had a situation where Beth tried to escape. She's obviously failed to escape, which means there's still a man stuck in this place. Wouldn't it suck if we all went there to save her and someone else got stuck sort of thing, or someone got hurt in the process, or... <sighs> like he hid before, will he hide again? Will he make the same decision or will he stand up? I feel a little bit bad for him, you know, like... Please don't dare break a nail. I hate scenes like that, eh? When nails go. <laughs> Jesus. Carl Michonne, Rick, uh, Priest Guy, staying at the church, Rick and the rest heading off to go and help Carol. And we're probably facing the scariest thing. I spoke about it last reaction. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. About why I think this is probably a bigger threat. Maybe not a bigger threat in face value, but. I think in the long run, for some reason, something doesn't feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we are, we, we are straight into, what's this place called again? It's the hospital, I don't know what to call it, but this is what I've been waiting for. We keep getting this chop and change. Like, there's three different storylines at once and it's frustrating. Honestly, so we're not gonna, so we are chopping and changing, but we're gonna get a bit of a, I see, a sort of three in one kind of episode. And less great news for Gritton. We just scraped the bottom of the water barrel. What is we gotta go, on? man? Us. Group name, Solidarity. Greet him. Band of Brothers. <laughs> Greet him. Oh, but what happens if letters fall off, man? Thinking about getting a tattoo on my knuckles. I don't like it because my you know what's the saddest thing about it is my first, very, very first thought of hearing that was Greet him sounds kinda of weird, but like great. That works. So like what's the letter to take out? M. No. Feels like it's been too long since. Take the bottle. Seriously, my six year old nephew didn't pull this shit. Don't waste it. Do this, Abraham. He's Look just cracked. At me. Look at me! He has split, man. The one thing he was fighting for, which kept him off the edge last time, is gone. Sit down or I'll put you down. Whoa! Sucks, man. I hate this so much. Someone just needs to be there to like grab the rope, man, and pull him back to reality. Because we saw his snap in the flashbacks, but oh, then we saw nice him sort agenda. of. I'm gonna describe it as like someone had her like the final bit of thread keeping him sort of dangling off the edge. Now he's lost the thing he was fighting for. Can he like find a will to want to live? I think that's the problem, you know? He got a reason, a mission to survive, and now he's missionless. He doesn't understand his mission. He, he has a mission. We all have a mission, but he ha he doesn't understand it yet. And this is why I empathize with him so much, because as soon as he hit Eugene, I, all, I, could, I didn't feel any ounce of hate for him, man. Not a single ounce of hate, just frustration and, and yeah. There were a lot of comments about, you know, Eugene, if he didn't do that, this wouldn't have happened, the group wouldn't have been in this position, Abraham would be dead. Like, there's a lot of positive consequences from 
his decisions, which sounds really weird. Like you don't make decisions, you don't make a bad decision thinking to yourself, oh, there might be some negative consequences. So you still have to think of the initial act as wrong. It's weird because the cards we've been dealt, they don't suck. Not right now they don't. Like, and does that sound really weird? Like, obviously we're in the apocalypse and there's walkers everywhere. Like that sucks. Once it's dark enough that the rooftop spider won't see us, we go. Oh, We've got the locks on the stairways. Take it to the fifth floor. I open the door. Daryl takes the guard out. But then they have like radios and stuff. He slits his throat. Wow. This is all about us doing this quiet, keeping the upper hand. This is gonna create a moral this. issue. You watch. From there we fan out. Let me just say this. I said this right at the start. I said this back at, at Woodbury. It was obvious it was Woodbury. I said it with the cannibals. It wasn't so obvious there. I'm gonna say it again. Just because this group is run in a way which is doing bad things, right? And th th it's got a, a leadership sort of hierarchy that doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't mean everyone in this group is bad. Like if we had, for example, rocked up. I've forgotten his name. I will remember his name eventually. But if we had rocked up when he was still there, we would have killed him. Do you see where I'm coming from? Like, that's the moral dilemma. Tyrese, Sasha, take them. Daryl. And the fact take that... Care. The fact that Tyrese and Sasha are together as well, like, oh my days. I got Dawn. If they're smart, the rest of them will give up then. It'll be five on three, six Rex on three Dawn. once we get a weapon to bath. Twelve on three. The war to help. But how do we know? That see what I mean? That's case. See what I mean? Worst case. We don't let a lot of bullets flying around. That's what it takes. If not, if we get a couple of our cops, we do an even trade. There's five. Oh. Everybody goes home, and it might work. But it might not. This will work. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. And what do we just have of the termites? What do we just have? Leaving them alive, what happened? She genuinely believes she's doing the right thing. And I said, this is dangerous. It's dangerous because it's her reality. This is the mad thing. What am I arguing for right now? I'm arguing that we go in as Rick says, which results in killing people. I don't know what to think anymore. That's the danger. Take two of her cops away. What choices does she have? Everybody goes home. That, no. Like he said. But the. I, I see this last reaction. I wouldn't be surprised if we succeed here, spare her life, and then what? You need to learn how to defend yourself. Defend myself? They said go. Someone pointed out something really crucial to me, which I didn't pick up on straight away. But when we had the scene, I forgot what people call it. It's like a massacre or something. When we sort of basically take out the termites, I remember saying, Jesus Christ, it's brutal. And then a few people in the comments going like, yeah, 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 like I under, like I, I thought so as well. Like it's hard to watch. Like it, it's hard to see our characters go down that kind of road. But then there are a lot of people that were just like, they got what they deserved. There were so many people that were like that. Which, fair enough, right? That's what people believe, that's what people believe. I believe that they got what was coming as well. It's just our actions and the way we react and how it affects us is what worried me. Beyond the brutality of it, I don't want to go back into that again because that's a, a long debate. Beyond that, the act of killing them, it's not just about protecting us because they very well, very well may have left. We had the upper hand, their whole team was gone, boom, whatever. But they would have gone and done exactly the same thing they did to Bob to someone else. Good choice. But you're, you're not holding your right. you got to be able to drive it down. Oh. Imagine how painful that must be, man. I need to lie down. If there is a sign of Noah, we are going to find him. You just told me you see, that your plan was counting on him screwing up. Why would they want Noah? That's some active police work right there. Like she's desperate for him. Why? Is there anything else? Because he was an effective laundry person? Yes, actually there was. What do you call a laundry person? Wouldn't the Sates most survival-like thing to do to be just to let him run away? Obviously, in that case, I understand if everyone was to run away, you would have no group, and then your plan of saving the world would dissipate, right? But he's already gone. We really gonna keep wasting valuable Don't. resources on this lady? How much electricity does your DVD take? Excuse Whoa. me? We have very limited resources here. Beth? That woman has been here one day. Beth! What good is this place if it doesn't try to save oh, people? Turn so off the machines. Tell Edwards to take the patient off of his rounds. If she pulls through on her own, then fine. But you're right. Oh you my... You just killed that woman. 
Who do you think I have to side with? Tell him. Tell him you changed your mind. You don't know how fragile this thing is. But she can't even control her own... So you'll just have to do it. Boat. You're gonna save that woman's life. This is to the drug locker. I don't even trust Edwards with this, so take it. What the hell? Shepard, one roof detail. Track it down. I... I refused. Okay, hear me out. This is great because we've got a character which I don't understand, which I love. I don't think she genuinely thinks she's doing something wrong. I don't think she believes she's a bad person. I don't. And like I said, I believe that continues to play on this delusion. It's a snap waiting to happen. That is what worries me. We're going to rock up. We're going to destroy her plan. We're going to absolutely ransack everything. And then we're going to leave. Now that's the snap. Maybe we're seeing a good side of Dawn right now. Maybe we're seeing a side of her who is truly losing it slightly, but not... How do we describe this? Maybe she genuinely is just losing the plot. She hasn't lost the plot, she's losing the plot. But the fact that she's giving this key, like, either she's testing Beth, or she genuinely is trying to help, and she genuinely wants to control her officers, but she's doing it... I don't know, in the most sneaky way possible, which like almost like she sort of said walking on eggshells, right? How can you walk on eggshells where well, you can walk around them? I don't know. I could be completely and utterly wrong, but I think there is about to be Why are a you snap. Doing this? Her snap. I thought you were weak. You've proved me wrong. Abraham just looked lost, today. Look at him. I still think he cares about this group. I still think he does. So it's only a matter of time before something sort of ropes him back in. The woman in exam room two, what medicine would you give her? Don called it. I know, but if you could, what would you, what give, would her? you give her? It's just a guessing game. So guess. What? You have the key. Did you take it or did she give it to you? Because if she gave it to you, she did not do it out of the kindness of her heart. Don't. That's what Just I think, that some sort of test. I was trying to save my life. Epinephrine drip, five milligrams. Come on then. Come on. So maybe it is a test. Maybe that's what this is. I bloody well hope not, but... So you just build a water filter in about two minutes, huh? Ah, oh, you know something crazy? I, um, I actually did that for a science project day. Like, I built, like, a water filter with bottles and... With, like, yeah, rocks and charcoal and stuff. No, oh, she's so fun. Eugene taught me. Takes a while, See, but... See, he's not useless. Of course he's not useless. There. There. So it, it is a point. Whoa. Put it down, Noah. Put the gun down. You let me know if it's too tight, okay? I thought you were smart, Noah. You think we wouldn't hear you? Hands. What do you want? You want to die? Whatever this is. We can help. You do what we say. You we don't know. hurt you. Okay. I just, pardon me, thinks you just gotta spare them, man. Even though I know what happened last time, this feels like a situation when we genuinely have good people. It really does. The way you carry yourself. You were a cop. Are you a cop? Wow. He's one of the good ones. Just like that, they didn't ca catch uh, what? Evac here. I mean, this could be to do with the helicopters. Remember, right at the start, we had helicopters. I hate that I've got some sort of security about this character. I hate it so much. This guy does not look like one of the good ones. Was this your clothes that was? Okay. 
No, you don't get second chances. You an asshole. Ray. Three's better than two. But how many... T what scares me so much, man, is... How many times is Rick gonna get convinced that thing and it... Uh, three's better than two. Daryl is 100% right, What's his but... name? I need to talk to him. The plan's going to get me and my friends killed. And she's smart. So there's a good chance you can't make this deal work, and that'll leave us all dead. Mm. But if you let us go, we'll take care of Dawn can ourselves. I believe, can I believe that they will genuinely help us? The thing is, is based on how Dawn likes to run things, yeah, kind of. If they get to the point where they see, like, our side is significantly more favourable, I can see why that they would do this, but... This is such a risk. You can make this work. I like this guy's face. I don't know But why. you gotta be able to talk to her. No one told us all about her. I've known her for eight years, ma'am. And my only interest is peaceful resolution. Not dying. I actually genuinely like this guy. Immediately. I kind of believe that guy. Wow. All we gotta do is talk to Dan. It's almost like we're seeing an evolution of it. You know, like Pokemon, like you got like it. The next form, you know, like what's the next form? What does it want? What does it do? What's its motives? That's what I see her as. I see her as in this like middle form and whatever we're about to do is gonna allow her to evolve and we do not know what it is. It's not like it's, it's any sort of con continuity in her form characteristics. Like she's gonna change into something different. Wherever we all wind up, you in? Part of the family now. I'm in. Come on. You doing okay? It was just resting. So, I mean, when you bubble, when you bubble wrap yourself in the world, it's hard to keep up. I wanted to tell you. I already took the machete. What more do you want from me? I don't want anything from you. That's the thing. She's giving him a choice. I'm just trying to help. You just feel like he, you have to let him have his choice, though. Why do I feel like maybe he doesn't ever want to come with us? We'll see, man. Um. What are you doing? At least he's trying to get out, but... But does she just... Does she just trade strawberries? Yeah, I, I, I'm okay. I don't know what that was. But that was too... <laughs> that was too suspicious, man. <laughs> Sasha. People say Sasha or Sasha? That'd be a cool scene to have like walkers on. Ow! I watched a film with um a really religious girl. Was it called Saint Maud or something like that? It was supposed to be like a horror thriller. And to punish herself, she'd put a glass in her shoes. Or maybe that was an accident. Maybe he genuinely stood on a nail. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks. I like Sorry this guy. My name's Bob. You're still a cop. No way. No. I mean, I, I, that's another thing I probably overanalyzed, the fact that they use their uniform. I remember I keep saying, like, why are they still in the uniform? But it kind of makes sense if they were they were on that floor, the, the police officer was doing their sweep, hey, when the, the shit hit the fan, so. What? I don't understand what he's doing. Oh. what I'm talking about. Maybe some people just can't change. Do I hate him for it? No. Imagine after everything it's this guy that's doing the manipulating. You know? When you were bringing us back up here, I, s I saw a rider. His name was Tyler. I met him at Grady. Stuck out there, melted to the asphalt. Would have been me. He saved my life. So let me help you. I can take you right to him. We're not going out there, but I'm a good shot. I was gonna say... Show me. Does she want me to shoot you? I thought I did. But no. Oh, jeez. But I did. Come on, I feel like he's, he's coming round, doesn't he? Coming back from the edge. 
That's a happy scene, man. I'm coming. Oh no. Oh, so he is okay? It's not a walker? But that sounded like walker gargles, I swear, man. You know, the more I think about Come it... Come on, Abraham. I swear that sounded like walker gargles. Is that just me? Like, it's weird because it feels like we're in two places right now. A positive for this group, or the side of the group, and a very, very nervy side for this part of the group, you know? There's a half wall. He's leaning against it. Don't dare. Are you sure that's him? What did I fucking s Oh, man. The what? That guy, man. The one that I... I still think I kind of maybe like him. Maybe. It's not simple. Okay, I'm gonna try and keep this short and sharp, guys, because I don't have a lot of time. Um, it's really late. And I want to get to bed. Bit of a random episode. Like I said, a bit of a nervy part for half the group. Obviously, planning our attack to save Beth and Carol. It, it's, yeah, it, it's weird because it's like, it feels like an attack, but then it feels like he's trying to convince Rick to bargain. I don't believe he was completely lying. I don't. But he's just escaped. So, like, and it's not like he tried to kill her. Like, he tried to hurt her, right? So, it's, I don't know what to think about that guy. I genuinely think think he seems like a nice guy, but he's just fearful. I don't know. Like, something about him. There's something about some of those cops which I don't understand but we're gonna get to that soon guys the whole point is that plan is in action I don't know whether he's gonna get there before us what now that, that's a, a massive anchor in the plan although he is currently cable tied and he's about to walk out into walker land so goodness knows I mean I'd be surprised if he died given that kind of impact but so that's happening one I don't have a lot to theorize I think he's gonna be a bit of a problem but I don't know whether I dislike him my biggest theories as I said uh, during the reaction are with Dawn I believe that we're witnessing a snap right now I don't believe she's completely lost I believe she believes she's doing the right thing I believe she will manipulate people to continue that plan because she believes it's the right thing and it's just a matter of like what does the next step snap mean what happens when we take that from her so yeah it's just uh, I think we're witnessing something very very scary and I don't believe there won't be consequences and then there's the other side of things with Abraham and Maggie and Glenn and everything everyone we're finally seeing a positive turnaround well they sound like walker gargles i swear from eugene maggie didn't react badly so i take it it's not right it's not walker gargles it's just him gargling and he's waking up and we're on a positive path to redemption almost he's useful for the group like i, I don't like this whole notion of oh he has no purpose he 100 percent does and we are stronger all together once again and now we don't have this weird plan that is now going back to the group and maybe 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 they need us the sooner we are all back together, the better. Maybe I'll leave it there. Maybe I'll leave that there for now, guys. And if I need to talk more, I'll talk when I've finished editing. Okay, I finished editing. Um, it's been it's been a while since this I recorded this episode. Anyway, I haven't had time. I've been hectically busy. I apologize if I look tired. I'm not here to talk more about the episode. I think well, this will very much be the quickest outro of any Walking Dead reaction I imagine on the channel. But anyway, that's okay. We're ready for the next one. I'm going to try and watch that in the next few days. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get a few hours. I just want to say a massive thank you guys. Thank you all for tagging along. Uh, thank you to all the new subscribers, for everyone that comments regularly. I really appreciate you guys. I just, I've had a few days. I've been very, very busy. And I've realised how much I miss interacting with everyone. And I miss watching the show. So yeah, just a little bit of an appreciation post. Anyway. I'm going to leave that there, guys. If you enjoyed this ever, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. And of course, follow the Instagram, then you'll with two Ds. And as ever, let me know down below what the episode, the reaction, and I'll get to those thoughts as soon as humanly possible. Bye, you guys. That's all from me. As ever, this has been your boy Dan. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Mm -hmm.